Hey kitties, it's Triple Feature Tuesday once again, and this week we're asking the question, what is Johnny Depp doing in this cowboy movie? Cowboy baby, with a top left I mean, it is a strange question, because Johnny Depp, despite the last couple of years, is still one of the best actors out there. He can play anything, despite him being some sort of teenage fashionista stuck in a middle-aged man's body. And yet, cowboys. You just wouldn't ever really put him. Johnny Depp together with cowboys, like gangster movies, sci-fi movies. I mean, then again, you know, pirate movies you wouldn't have thought either. And in fact, the producers of Disney didn't think so at all. They thought Pirates of the Caribbean was going to tank when they were seeing uh, the dailies of what Johnny was doing. And But, you know, everything turned out perfectly fine. And now Johnny Depp is always playing some variation of uh, Captain Jack. Uh, we're going to look at three westerns featuring Johnny Depp, and uh, we're going to go in order of increasing weirdness. So our menu is going to include The Lone Ranger, Dead Man, and Rango. It's fun because we're also sort of going in uh, increasing order of quality of the film. So starting with Gore Verbinski's big screen adaptation of the classic radio serial and TV show The Lone Ranger. The story of uh, Texas, Jan Texas Ranger John Reed who uh, seemingly comes back from the dead to uh, fight crime in the Old West with, with his uh, plucky Native American uh, sidekick Tonto. This time played by Army Hammer and Johnny Depp respectively. We start out cowboy movies with Johnny Depp playing an Indian. And this movie, this movie just isn't that great. It, it's weird because it's like the, the first chunk of it, the, the everything leading up to Army Hammer becoming the Lone Ranger, and then uh, the last uh, 20 minutes to a half hour of this train race are spectacular. They're just amazing. Gore Verbinski just doing his thing and, and just being completely ridiculous but visually just as stimulating as hell. But there's this middle chunk that goes on for like an hour plus and it's intolerable. It is so mind-numbingly boring. It's like, uh, it, it sort of reminds me of uh, complaints that uh, you were hearing about uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Three, which I unabashedly love every moment of that movie, but you know, by the time that one came around, I was just in. But I can understand people thinking it was too long, and you know, this one was this Lone Ranger movie was really too long for the amount of plot that they actually had. It's a shame because the action set pieces that they were coming up with are really incredible, and all of it is tied together with some fairly affable performances uh, by uh, one Army Hammer. Even though he's uh, our title character, he really isn't the lead of this movie. The, the, he's really, really fun. I, Army Hammer continues to be one of those actors that is just like, I think I like you, I just haven't liked any movie you've been in so far. So, you know, hopefully movie and actor will come together at some point. But the movie isn't really about the Lone Ranger. The movie is more about Johnny Depp's Tonto. He has the much fuller character arc. I mean, uh, John Reed has his arc, but... T uh, Tonto is the real guy who messed up in his past, felt wronged, and kind of went completely insane as a result of it, or maybe not. And he's also the narrator of the movie, so just putting it more in Johnny Depp's hands. And he does a lot of interesting things in it. With the narration, the storytelling motif is uh, very much Little uh, little Big Man. The film in which a uh, Justin Hoffman was uh, playing a uh, white man that was adopted by uh, Native Americans, and he's telling the story from a much older age. Johnny Depp, as Tonto, is telling the story from his old age. And Tonto, his Tonto is probably more Captain Jack than not. He, he, ha he doesn't have the, uh, the verbosity that Captain Jack does, but he is definitely waving those arms around everywhere and doing ridiculous physical comedy and uh, stunts, while seemingly oblivious to how dangerous the situations he's in. But it's a lot of fun to watch. I mean, we did like it through at least two, if not three, Pirates movies. That fourth one is just, ugh, it's just boring. Johnny Depp as Tonto is just really, really fascinating. It's sort of like watching, uh, he was compared a lot actually to Charlie Chaplin, and it's an apt comparison in this movie because he's just kind of bouncing around. There's a lot of, like, good silent film type of gags like watch the uh the old buster keaton movie uh, the general and you see some of the stuff that they're doing with the trains it's very very similar you know once you get to it but before you get to it you have to sit through two hours of movie which were just 
not that interesting at all, which I, I, I got nothing for it. And then we have Dead Man, which is sort of the inverse in terms of uh, my, my usual tastes, because by and large, I have not enjoyed really any Jim Jarmusch movies. A lot of people really, really like him. I think they're just sort of meandering and dull, whereas I seem usually... Uh, like just about everything Gore Verbinski puts out, where but whereas like Lone Ranger I didn't like, Dead Man is the Jim Jarmusch movie I unabashedly love because it's so peculiar. This was the first Western that Johnny did. He plays an accountant named William Blake who has gone out to the West to uh, not necessarily find his fame and fortune, but you know, go get a job that he was promised. And uh, when he doesn't get the job, it's the first of many things that he uh, thinks about the West that turn out to be completely wrong. As he's on the run, accused of murder with self-defense and uh, also horse thievery, and meets up with a Native American named Exebiche, which means uh, nobody, played by Gary Farmer to great effect. Gary Farmer pretty much steals this whole movie. He's just really something to watch. And uh, the whole movie is very picaresque. It's just, it, it's less, I mean, there is an overall plot. William Blake is injured and is sort of going to meet his maker. But the main focus of uh, the movie are these little episodes where uh, Blake and Exebiche keep meeting these random people in the Old West. And again, it's technically a Western. These are all like cowboys and bounty hunters and criminals and thieves and everything. But they're all played by like mid-90s great indie actors. <laughs> and so the whole thing takes on a very surreal aspect, uh, aided by the fact that uh, it's in black and white. But the cast list is insane because like in addition to Johnny Depp and Gary Farmer, you get Robert Mitchum, Lance Henriksen, Alfred Molina, Crispin Glover, Jared Harris, Billy Bob Thornton, Iggy Pop, Gabriel Byrne, and John Hurt, among others. And they're all just kind of popping up and doing something ridiculous, and uh, William Blake is getting more and more at home with the West as it goes along. But again, he's always good. He always just kind of looks like he looks like he. he gets to be, he gets to a point where he's there, but looks completely out of place still. But uh, it's really, really a lot of fun. And this is, uh, I think it was like 94, 95. So it's like really prime Johnny Depp doing all sorts of different roles. This is like Benny and June time, Arizona Dream, What's Eating Gilbert Grape, but just a really, really interesting actor doing anything that he could get away with doing. And as it turned out, he could get away with doing a lot of things. Westerns. And finally, we have one of my favorite movies, Rango, which is technically a Western, but it's sort of more than that. Rango is not really a Western. Rango is not really a kid's movie. Rango is a film lover's movie, because the whole movie is a deconstruction and examination of film roles, character, story, how much does uh, the character influence the story, how much does the story influence the character, can you change these things, what does it all mean? And it is presented through a lizard that wants to be an actor who finds himself living out one of like the role of a sheriff in an old west town with all of these other critters running around that are anthropomorphic and have their own little town and then it also morphs into Chinatown and if you if you didn't see that you weren't paying attention because Ned Beatty's uh Tortoise is basically John Houston from Chinatown and so you have this whole land grab so it's all these different genres and types of characters mixing together to create this stew of weirdness. And it's so weird and odd looking. I mean, look at these characters. They're designed so well and strange. You just never see anything like it. And it's funny. And you got incredible Hans Zimmer music. You also had that in uh, The Lone Ranger. Because, oh, I forgot to mention, this is another Gore Verbinski movie. This triple feature is essentially a uh, Jim Jarmus sandwich on two slices of Gore Verbinski. And uh, much like... Dead Man, you have, like, everybody is somebody, because, like, as I said, you got Ned Beatty, you've got Isla Fisher, uh, Stephen Root, Claudia Black's in there, Alana Eubach, uh, Ray Winstone does a voice, Bill Nye does a voice, uh, Harry Dean Stanton is a different character, Abigail Breslin. It's all over the place and fun and ridiculous, because it's lizards and desert critters doing a cowboy movie. With CGI, that's also a, you know, 
homage to Chinatown. And in the middle of it, the man with no name shows up. So really, really goddamn weird. And throughout all of it is Johnny Depp just doing his Johnny Depp thing. If you got the Blu-ray or DVD, I highly recommend looking at the bonus features because they filmed it in a very strange way, which is fitting because it's a strange movie and you make it weird. Where they didn't animate it traditionally, they didn't do motion capture a la like uh, Tintin, they just filmed all of the actors doing the doing the movie as if it were a play and then sort of animated everything around that like kind of like superimposing it a little bit uh, not unlike the, what they were doing with the scanner darkly and as a result it's just kind of crazy and weird and you also get like these really great uh behind the scenes photos of everybody just in normal clothes acting like they're lizards really really a lot of fun as is Johnny Depp usually in Western movies. I think the biggest struggle would be, you know, having to do a role where he has to take all of his bracelets off. I still want to watch him, though, because every time he's on screen, he's doing something weird. It just wish he wasn't doing as many, like, Alice in Wonderland movies, because I, I just can't physically look at that. But in the meantime, Johnny Depp, Westerns, The Lone Ranger, Dead Man, and Rango. Check those out, and I'll see you guys next week.